So what is sound? Think about it. For me, sound is an invisible sculpture that you're creating in your mind, okay? And then once you have an idea of what the invisible sculpture is here, it's going to be translated into this thing, okay? So if you want to build your own sound, you know, you will need to do something which is essential for any musician, and that is listening, okay? So regardless of your level, whether you're an intermediate player, or a beginner, or you've, you know, you used to play alone for a long time, and then you stop for a long time, and you're coming back to it, okay, you're, if you're an advanced player, it doesn't matter, okay, you want to dedicate your time, you know, to listening to music, because what happens is when you listen to music, you know, the brain is going to analyze the, the sounds from the music, okay, and then when you go back and practice, your brain, your musical brain is going to remember what you listened, you know, and how that player, you know, the sound qualities of that player and that player and that player, and you will start to form your own idea of your own identity, your own sound. If you don't listen, it's like trying to learn Japanese, but you live in Spain and, and the only teacher that you have is a Spanish speaker who knows Japanese. It's never going to be as good as a proper Japanese um, speaker. Make sense? Okay. So, Let's start with three things, you know, three ideas that I want to give you in order to, um, you know, obsess yourself about listening kind of thing and about getting started with listening. The first thing you want to do is choose a player. Okay, so I would say, you know, every month, pick a player that you really, really like and just listen to that player. Okay, it doesn't matter the style, you know, choose the style that you really want to play, something that grabs you, something that gives you goosebumps, if it's funk, if it's smooth, if it's jazz, if it's classical, it doesn't really matter. Something that you like and you want to play, okay? Choose one player from that style a month and just constantly like crazy, just listen to that player only, you know, with their reason or not, okay? But just obsess about that, okay? Because it's going to make a huge difference when you go back in the practice room and you're going to have an, a clear idea of how this player sounds because I've listened to that so much like crazy. Make sense? Cool stuff. The second thing you want to do is you want to loop your favorite track. So let's say you've chosen, I don't know, Paul Desmond for this month, okay? So you hear everything that there is out there about Paul Desmond. You know, you hear all the albums, everything. You just Every anytime you listen to something, you just listen to Paul Desmond. That's your task for the month. Okay. Now you go like, oh my god, I really like this this track, Kathy's Waltz, whatever from from the you know Time Out album, whatever it is. Okay. Go like, oh, I really want to learn this track. So what you do is you put your headphones on, and then you loop that track four, four, five, six, seven times, and you listen to that track on a loop constantly. Okay. Now. I still use CDs for some reason. I love CDs. You can loop tracks in here, right? But you probably have a phone or something else, you know? Uh, you can loop tracks in there as well. You wanna loop so you don't waste time or just waste energy and actually, you know, going back to the beginning, you know, let it be in an automatic thing so your brain is there on just, just on that track, okay? It's gonna be amazing, okay? The third thing you want to do is you want to obsess over very small nuggets of, of, of music, okay? So, if you're learning a piece, you know, <clears throat> uh, choose 10 seconds from a solo that you like or from a melody that you like, okay? Learn those 10 seconds, okay? But from those 10 seconds, you want to start with 2 seconds, okay? So, you listen, you stop, and then you play. You listen, you stop, and then you play. Okay, those two seconds, three seconds, whatever it is, but keep it really short, keep it brief, because you want to be sure that what you're learning, you really know it and you have control over it. Okay, and then um, you're going to start building up your, your, your phrase or your melody or your solo, whatever, but you build it over very small bricks kind of thing. Okay, if you're trying to learn something that is two minutes long, you're not going to listen to the whole thing for two minutes, you're going to start with two seconds, three seconds, okay, nail that, and then four seconds, nail that, put it together, so on, okay. So those are some very, very simple things that you can do, okay. It's all about listening and feeding your musical brain with a lot of information of whoever you like. So when you go back in the practice room, 
you're going to have an idea of how you want to sound. That's essentially the whole thing in a nutshell. Okay, make sense? So that's it for today. I really hope that was helpful. Uh, leave me a comment here below so I, I know what you think and actually who your favorite player is. Just let me know here below, okay, so we can all share it together. And uh, be sure to check out the free saxophone class that you're going to find in the link here below in the description. More tips on how to bring your saxophone playing to the next level. Highly, highly recommend it. It's really, really good. And that's it. Happy practicing and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.